here's a quick word from today's sponsor, Surfshark. You know how you could use a game shark to get some cheats and, you know, do some cool stuff in games that you wouldn't be able to do otherwise? Well, guess what? There's a shark you can use for the internet. Surf shark. That's right. <laughs> a lot of you were yelling at me in my last shark video, complaining that I wasn't sponsored by Surf Shark. So I guess today I'm rectifying that mistake. And you know, it's funny because, like, you know, shark movie, Surf Shark, blah. If you don't know what Surf Shark is, it's a VPN or a virtual private network. Say there's something on Netflix that you can't watch because you have to be in a certain country to watch it. Surfshark's got you covered. Just change your location within Surfshark and you can access loads of different streaming services. You can even bring your entertainment abroad. There's no need to miss your favorite shows while you travel. Just bring a shark with you. It protects your identity online. It protects your data. Surfshark is the only VPN to offer one account to use an unlimited number of devices. With Surfshark, you can block ads, trackers, and malware. It allows you to hide your real IP address, which can be linked to your digital identity. Again, protect yourself online. Buy yourself an internet shark today as a pet, you know. It'll keep you safe with its internet shark teeth. Keep yourself safe online. Get Surfshark VPN at surfshark.deals slash Alien. The link is in the description. Enter promo code ElvisyAlien for 83% off and get three extra months for free. Glug, glug, glug. It's me, Elvis the Shark. <laughs> Remember when I made that video on the shark movies and I said at the end that, oh, there's another one coming next week. I hate sharks. I'm never talking about sharks ever again. Just kidding. I have another video about sharks coming. Well, today is next week, I guess. <laughs> My stupid head won't stay up. What What the hell, dude? I underestimated how bad this movie is. Apparently, this is one of the worst rated movies of all time and one of the worst shark movies ever made. It's called Shark Exorcist. This movie was directed and written by one Donald Palmer. Hey guys, Editing Elvis here. Yeah, so when I saw the director's name, Donald Farmer, my brain saw Arnold Palmer. Like, the golf and tea guy. That's why I called him... Donald Palmer. <laughs> Let's see what recent projects our boy Donald Palmer has been up to. Ah yes, Cannibal Hookers. Makes sense. Right away this movie proves that it's batshit insane by introducing me to uh... Suicidal Productions. And this is their little promo that they show before the movie starts. Yeah, it's different. <laughs> the movie starts with a random nun murdering a girl and sacrificing her to the shark gods. Why would sharks have anything to do with a human religion? Who knows? Cause you know sharks, they love nuns. These three girls go to a lake. Two of them start tanning and the third one goes for a dip. She then gets attacked by an evil yellow eyed shark asset you can download straight from YouTube for free. The shark is very realistic and the attack is so brutal. She's splashing around and oh my god, is she ever gonna make it out alive? She's pulled ashore by her friend and she's bleeding from the mouth. Oh god, this is not a good sign, ladies and gentlemen. She's in trouble, oh no. And the camera shows us the shark bite and it's uh, ketchup. It's just ketchup. Like, come on, dude. You couldn't do any better than that. <laughs> like, I understand this is a very low budget movie, but seriously, I think it's pretty clear that they weren't trying to be very serious with this movie, but still. And the acting, oh man, it's phenomenal. Are you okay? What happened? Stay with me. It's for now, you gotta stay with me. You gotta stay with me. Stay with me. Oh God, oh God. Lauren, get some help, please. So Donald wasn't really sure how to get a hospital scene. So I guess he just took an iPhone and started recording with it and put it in his front pocket and just walked around a hospital for a while because that's exactly what this next scene looks like. It's just like a camera going around a hospital. None of the characters are there. At least in post, they put in someone talking over an intercom. It's very convincing. <laughs> and then there's a news broadcast of the shark attacks. This is Brian Bennett with Channel 9 News, where for the past week, swimmers have been terrorized by a bizarre series of brutal shark attacks. I'm pretty sure I can make a more convincing news broadcast template in paint. The Channel 9 Live is barely inside the awkward black box that they just plop there on the left. Stay tuned to Channel 9 News for more on this developing story. We then get a scene of one of the girls playing a shark game in an arcade. 
I guess just because it's a shark game, but all right. She leaves and has a conversation on a bench with this other girl. The audio and visual quality is that of a third gen iPhone. Hi, I just got back from the hospital. Cool. They talk about Lauren doing stuff behind Allie's back with her boyfriend Bobby, I guess, a guy that we haven't met yet. And this has like zero significance in the movie at all. I'm not sure why they put it in there. Whatever. Ghost Whackers. Yes, the next scene introduces us to a show called Ghost Whackers. It's like a really amateur ghost hunting show called Ghost Whackers. And she's at the lake to discover the mysteries of these shark attacks. They show us the guy that's filming her, then cut back to her. And then the next shot shows the guy filming her from the other side now for some reason and a third perspective. And then she turns to start talking to the third perspective as if it's another camera guy that we're never shown. And now the guy behind her is just filming the back of her head. <laughs> And then the next shot shows the guy following her around with the camera, but we never cut back to his camera's perspective. So I don't know why he's even filming her in this scene. It's so bizarre. <laughs> and then there's a scene of her talking to the shark spirit. Is there something evil beneath these waves? Tell me, speak to me. She gets possessed or something, and then the ghost shark starts speaking through her. These waters are mine! Do you hear me? Mine! This scene is up there as one of the cringiest things I've ever seen in my life. Cool. And then we get a scene of Allie and Emily talking about the shark bite, and then Allie goes, That's the thing about almost dying, Emily. It is a real buzzkill. That's the thing about almost dying, Emily. It is a real buzzkill. <laughs> the dialogue, the script, it's immaculate. It's amazing. I'm in shock. Allie then shows Emily her shark bite that no longer exists. I'm guessing because they couldn't afford to put an actual shark bite on her or hire any sort of makeup artist. So they just made it so, hey, the shark bite just went away. Oh my God, Allie, there's not even a scar or anything. Cool. The next scene shows Allie wearing something completely different. I don't know if this is supposed to be like the same day or not. They didn't show us the day passing or anything. Oh, whatever. So she flags down a car and convinces this guy to go to the lake. He's horny. So they go to the lake and then they just like stand in the lake and splash at each other awkwardly for like a full minute. But they're doing it in such a way where they don't get water on each other because that would be bad, you know, since they're standing in the lake. Then she floats away awkwardly and dives under the water. She then turns into the shark, I guess, and eats him. <laughs> this guy has a twin brother who's a priest. He gets a message in the mail telling him that his brother was killed. We're then blessed with more ghost whackers. Yes, the best show on television. On our last episode, I attempted to make a psychic connection with those who've died here. And the cameraman is still filming the back of her head. <laughs> Then this random woman comes out of nowhere. She's the host of another show called Ghost Fakers. <laughs> I'm Brianna Bennett from Ghost Fakers. And she goes around exposing ghost hunter shows, I guess. I don't know why she did that. She like put her thumbs down. Ghost, ghost fakers. Ghost fakers. She's trying to expose ghost whackers as the whack show. It truly is. Then there's a scene of a zombie woman crying and spasming on the ground. And then this other girl starts having a seizure. I honestly don't know what's going on. I guess they're possessed by the ghost shark, but we never see them again in the movie. So then we're introduced to this mentally handicapped girl. She's playing on a kid's playground. Allie is there and she's uh, hunting people on a playground as the shark in human form. It's weird. So the girl approaches Allie and she asks her what she likes to do. So what do you like to do, Allie? I like to get wet. Okay then. So the girl brings Allie to a pool. It's nighttime now, so I guess they walked a long ways. And she brought her to the pool because, you know, you said you like to get wet. You said you like to get wet. And then very awkward, sexy music starts to play as Allie undresses. Like, is this woman about to try and seduce this mentally handicapped girl? Please, please no, please stop. And then it seems like it's going in that direction. Kill me. That is until Allie wakes up. Thank God. And then, yay, we get to see more Ghost Whackers. Yay, Ghost Whackers, my favorite show. I 
call upon the spirit of the water, the malevolent presence from hell. The host of this show has another seizure, because one seizure wasn't good enough. She has to have multiple seizures, multiple shark seizures. Sharksers. <laughs> And then there's a scene of her puking on the ghost fakers girl, okay? And that's the last that we see of the ghost fakers girl. And then there's more scenes of the shark killing random people that we don't know about. I just found something! I just found something, Michelle! So the priest guy goes to where Allie lives and finds Emily. He tells her about the ghost shark and its abilities because somehow he knows about the nun from the beginning of the movie and... He did like the typical research that people do in these movies to find out everything about this random ghost shark. So Allie has super scary shark teeth now and she uses them to bite this guy at the carnival. I think this is supposed to be Bobby that they talked about in the beginning, but they never say it. Cool. So I don't know. Emily and the priest were following her at the carnival. So they catch her in the act and they tie her to a tree. The priest guy tries to perform an exorcism on Allie. The power of sharks compel you to stop possessing this girl. Get out of her, you shark. You're, you're supposed to be in the water anyway. Like, what the hell's wrong with you? Why would you possess a, a human? What? Allie pukes on the priest, so he strangles her. And we see in this shot that she wasn't even tied to the tree. It looked like she was tied to the tree, but I guess she wasn't. They have a conversation, which is weird. I guess Allie doesn't want to kill them with her super shark teeth. The priest is like, yo, just take my body because I think Allie's kind of hot and I would like her to be saved. And so they make out, okay. Then the shark comes out of the moon. <laughs> I don't know what's happening anymore. I don't care anymore. I don't care. Someone please kill me. In the next scene, we follow this buff girl to a lake. She's spied on and approached by this guy. He strokes her aura. It's very weird. <laughs> He's like doing this to her aura. <laughs> and how does she not hear this dude? He's right next to her. Like you can hear him walking around. As a viewer, you can hear him. So she wouldn't be, come on, man. And then instead of taking pictures of her, he points the phone at her and just swipes through pictures that were already taken. <laughs> what? <laughs> So the girl wakes up, stands up, and sees the nun? Oh, what? Where'd the guy go? Who was that guy? Who, what, I'm, what? So the girl screams in terror at the sight of the nun, because I guess she has a knife, and oh my god, her scream is hideous. <coughs> she sounds like a cornered lynx. <coughs> so then the nun stabs her, I guess. Even though the direction the girl is facing isn't where the nun could possibly be standing. <laughs> but whatever. <laughs> and then the ghost whackers girl comes out of the lake. At least I think it's her. I'm not really sure. She's about to bite the nun. You can tell because she goes up really close to the camera with her mouth like... Argh. But the camera just cuts to the girl putting the nun in a chokehold. So what was with the whole biting thing? She was like about to bite her, but then just doesn't. What? The movie ends with two of the girls from the beginning meeting at a dock. Emily is possessed by the shark now. So she jumps into the lake and then the shark pops out of nowhere and kills Lauren. I love how there are so many irrelevant characters in this movie that just like come out of nowhere just to die. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the hell? What was even the direction of this movie? I honestly, having watched it and writing a script and reading the script and making this video, I still don't really know what the movie's about. Like there was a nun who like killed someone, sacrificed it to a shark. So the sh shark started killing people and then it started possessing people. And there's this priest who tried to save a girl who was possessed by the shark. So nothing was resolved, really. A lot of people died, and the shark is still out there. <laughs> there's no conclusion, really. The conclusion, I guess, was just everyone dying. Also, there's a post credit scene of this girl at an aquarium. I'm only mentioning it because I guess she also gets possessed by the shark. And she makes this face. <laughs> It's very interesting. 
It's unreal how bad this movie is. I don't think it can get much worse than this. But if you guys want another shark movie, I guess I can don the shark again and uh, review another shark movie. If I do make another shark movie, it won't be for a while because these are just hard to watch, honestly. <laughs> Like some of the scenes are so bad that they're funny, but they're just, it's painful to watch these. So <laughs> like I know most of the movies I cover on this channel are pretty painful, but damn, wow. Follow me on Twitter if you want to vote for whatever movies I cover next and comment down below what movie you'd like me to review because you never know, maybe I'll cover it. Also, I should mention that I Hate Everything made a really good review of this movie. So if you want to, you should go check out his video. Shark Exorcist is actually the most terrible piece of shit in this series so far. I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm gonna go swim away now, cause I'm a shark. Glug, glug, glug. Oh, I, I should swim like this, right? I have a fin, I, th I have a back fin, but you can't really see it, it's very floppy. There's my back fin. See, this is me as a shark. Dun, 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 Elvis shark! Dun, dun, dun. I also have a butt fin.